We are living in the last days of the last hour, in the last seconds. Tonight, I want to talk to you about the signs of the end time. Welcome to New Dawn Ministries. TV. I hope you had a very great Easter. I'm um, sitting on my side. We had a very powerful and impactful Easter indeed and praises unto God. So in this episode, I want to talk about the signs of the end times. We do not have time and it is important that we talk about these signs so that we can stir up the agency and the need to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you can go with me to the book of Matthew chapter 24, and um, I'll be reading in the Passion Translation. We'll be reading from verse 6 and listen to what Jesus is saying concerning the end times. You will hear of wars nearby and revolution on every side with more rumors of wars to come. Don't panic or give in to your fears. For the breaking apart of the world system is destined to happen. But it won't yet be the end. It will still be unfolding. Hallelujah. Sign number one, there will be a breaking of the systems of the world. This is a first sign that the end of times is here to come. And Jesus says, when you see these end times, when you see these signs, take note that it is an unfolding story. In other words, before Jesus comes, these things will happen. The systems of this world, in other words, the financial systems, the economical systems, the systems of the government, they will be shaken to the core. And when they are shaken, then you ought to know that these are the end times. Sign number two, nations will go to war against each other and kingdoms against kingdoms. I mean, we are seeing this live. You know, we've got a war with, um, between Russia and Ukraine. We hear rumors of wars against other nations as well. In fact, in the past, there have been wars against um, nations, against another nation. And this is a sign number two. And these signs are there to uh, uh, stir us up, you know, to sober us up. So that those who are discerning and those who are aware may see the agency of the hour. It is important that you as an individual, you live with an agency of the hour, with the discernment and an understanding of we are living in the end times. Listen to this. And there will be terrible earthquakes, you know, seismic events of epic proportion, horrible epidemics, and fair minds in place, in place after place. I mean, I can give you examples upon examples of the sign of the end times. And Jesus was sharing this with his disciples so that he can at least share with us who are living in the end times to take note that the near of his second coming is here, you know. Um, it says here, this is how the first contractions and the birth pains of a new age will begin. When a woman is pregnant and she's due for delivery, before the birth, there will be contractions of the birth pains. You know, these are the sign that now it is time for the baby to be, de to, to, to be delivered. And Jesus makes the same example. And he says, even before his second coming, there will be these signs that are hinting to you and I that the end of time is here to come. Verse 10. Then many will stop following me and fall away and they will betray one another and hate one another and many lying prophets will arise deceiving multitude and leading them away from the path of truth this is shocking and this is happening right now i remember just before i came to christ there was a brother who was really pursuing me um, to to give my life to christ and eventually um, I, I i gave up 
you know, um, I, I gave my life to Jesus. And this man, he discipled me. And after he discipled me, a um, few years down the line, I hear that he had left and abandoned the faith that he was so passionate about and the faith that he was uh, encouraging me in. And I was shattered when I came to know that he had left the faith. And I can quote you story after story of brothers and sisters who was banned for Christ, but for some other reason, they fell away from the faith. And these are the signs of the end times. And also the teachings that we are hearing um, from the false prophets in all social platforms. I mean, we hear teachings that will shock you. And Jesus says, these things must happen. For these are the indicators and the signs that the end is near. And Jesus says to them, there will be prophets who will rise at the end times and they will deceive many. I mean, I can tell you uh, uh, um, about teachings of false prophets, false apostles, false teachers that we are seeing in these end times. And that is why in New Dawn Ministries, we've started the series of the prophetic ministry. It was so important that we shared that so that we can give you um, um, indicators of what is a true prophet and what is a false prophet. It's because we are living in the end times and no one ought to be deceived. Hallelujah. Listen to verse 12. There will be such an increase in sin and lawlessness that those whose hearts once burned with passion for God and others will grow cold. This is scary. There will be people who will be starting movements and these movements will be inspired by God and these movements, will, these people will, be burn, will burn with passion for God. And the Bible tells us that, but their love for God will grow cold. This is the great apostasy. And let me tell you, it is happening right now. As I am speaking to you, there are people, probably some of them, you know them. They have been burning with, with fire for God, but now we hear that they are falling away from the true faith of God. And these are the signs of the end times. But I love verse 13. It says, but keep your hope to the end and you will experience life and deliverance. This is an encouragement to all of us that as much as we are seeing these signs of the end times, but God is saying, keep your hope, keep your, your faith. In other Bible versions, it says, stand the test of times. You know, we ought to stand and we ought to stand up to the end and we shall see the deliverance of God. And I want to say to you, if God has called you, if God has given you a burden to win the lost, um, to go and establish businesses, to go and establish churches, now it is the time to go for it. Hallelujah. You know, you cannot live as it if tomorrow it is guaranteed. You know, these signs and the frequency of these events, these are the signs of the end times. And I am sensing an agency in my spirit. I am sensing God saying it is time not to entertain other things that drives you away from your calling, but it is time that we exercise what God has given us in our hearts and in your heart. So if God has called you to win souls, Go for it. You will never get a perfect condition. There will never be a perfect time. If you sense that this is indeed what God has called you to do, go for it. For God is showing us signs that indeed his second coming is imminent. Hallelujah. Remember, what will count the most is not the inspirational thoughts and ideas that you have, but it is the fulfillment of what God has given you. Let me repeat that. What will count the most at the end is not the inspirational thought that you have, but it is the manifestation of what God has given you in your heart, the fulfillment of what you have uh, in your heart as a burden. That's what will count the most. I want to pray for you. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you, O oh God, for these signs. Indeed, these signs are very important. 
to encourage all of us that we ought to go out there and win the loss and do what you've given us, oh Jesus. These are the signs that you have given us that your second coming indeed is imminent. And I pray for each and every one of us who is watching with me right now that encourage them, inspire them, give them faith. Let them not be shaken by the events that are happening, but let them know that these things are happening because they were foretold. And they were foretold for our benefit so that we can take note of what is yet to come. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for connecting with us. Let's connect next week Tuesday. This is New Dawn Ministries. The team.